All right, quick video on how to set up one of these Siemens multi-panel uh, screens. Not comfort panel, multi-panel. So first thing you want to do is get to this screen. What you can do is turn the power off and turn the power on. And then click on uh, control panel when the screen comes up here. If you don't and there's a program already loaded, it's going to, after three seconds, immediately load into the program that it has uh, built into it. So a few things I want to show you with how to configure this guy uh, for communication. We're going to go to Control Panel, and we have a few options here. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the network, which is over here, network and dial-up connections. We want to go to our LAN, and here we have our IP address. In my case, I want this to be like 192.168.0.1. I don't know, 20. Oops, I hit enter and it closed it. Let's go back in. I want to get rid of this. Um, I want to get rid of this subnet here. That's fine. Okay. So hit enter, it saved it again. That's fine. That's all good. So go ahead and close that. And then we're going to go over to uh, transfer settings. And here's some interesting stuff here. Uh, you have either the option of like S7 Ethernet or regular ethernet ethernet will allow you to uh transfer firmware to the screen in case the firmware isn't correct uh, what you want to do is have enable channel and remote control on so you can remotely shut the screen off hitting the advanced button here just brings you back to the original screen for uh, ip address we also want to go to our s7 transfer settings and this is going to be how the PLC is going to talk to the HMI as well. So in this case, we want S7 Ethernet. If we go to Properties here, again, it takes us there. So we hit OK. And now it should be all set up to run on. So you just hit Close. And you hit then Transfer to begin to uh, wait for the uh, PC to send the program to it. And that's all there is. Okay, bye.